hi guys welcome back to another video where today we're checking out three cars from a brand called star model but before we jump in make sure to like and subscribe if you are new and also share the video around with your friends but let's not waste any more time and jump straight in so starting the video off we've got this golf porsche rwb 993 as you can see this model coming with the figure now these models do vary from around 24 to 27 pound with the figure depending on where you do get them from now this one obviously being with the figure do, does cost the higher end and it's also coming on the heavier acrylic base as well but as you saw it comes in the standard sleeve design just the standard grey with the logo the warnings on the bottom the scale and the 14 plus but we're going to focus on the actual model itself which is absolutely incredible the colors really really pop they like this nice glossy color the blue is like a nice gloss mirrored blue and it looks absolutely beautiful the model is numbered as well and it is numbered into the corner the number will be on screen so you will be able to see it because it is absolutely minuscule and unfortunately i do think it could have been a little bit bigger but you can see the model is displayed very nicely but now with the model in hand you can see the level of detail that is on the model obviously starting with the wheels now they don't really spin on the front but the backs have got a little bit of movement and you can kind of see a brake disc and caliper behind them unfortunately it doesn't really come up on the camera as such but you can also see on the rear of the model the exhaust system is quite nicely detailed alongside the tail light as well with the gulf decal on the underside of the spoiler which again you just keep adding to the detail you can also see the Porsche along the side, the Golf, the 93 and the Golf on the bonnet. Decals again placed very nicely. But for me, the standout is the colour. Now again, there is a nice little detail in the sense of the tow hook on the front is actually sticking out and it is a piece. Which you do have to be careful of if you are going to handle the model like this as it might break off. Same as the wing mirrors if you are cleaning it of dust. And same goes for the window wipers as well. But... Overall you can see the model and the finish is very very nice. Now underside you can see the paint isn't exactly all finished but again who's looking at the underside of the model. But here you can see with the, with the figure the detail on the figure is very very nicely done as well. You can see the RWB 993 on the front of his shirt which again is very nicely detailed with the ripped jeans as well. I think that has an impact gun I'm pretty sure in his hand but again the detail on the figure the hair there's not too much detail on the facial structure and the proportion is very nicely done as well unfortunately it doesn't come with any tack to stand him up and it was a little bit of a pain but it's not the end of the world as these feet are made quite flat so it is fairly easy to stand up but obviously for me the standout is the paint like i've mentioned it's really really glossy and really really well done and this model overall is really really well done the overall finish and detail as you can see the wheels the tires they've got proper tread on same goes for the tail lights the headlights both plastic with the wing mirrors also having the mirror decal on as well the interior having the rear view mirror and obviously the seat the dashboard not too much in the sense of detail there but again overall it's very very well done but that now brings us on to the second model of the video which is this lb silhouette works liberty walk 458 gt the ferrari 458 gt as you can see comes in this nice sleeve design instead of the gray it's got the white with the italian flag the lb silhouette works the lb work on the front the lbwk should i say and as you can see the model coming in this nice deep blue with carbon accents now this model isn't numbered but you can see it says the liberty walk ferrari 458 gt on the front with the star model as well obviously just the standard base but now with the model up close you get to see some of that detail starting with the carbon bonnet slash hood now if you are a long time viewer or subscriber you do know that i do like to focus on carbon effect and see how realistic it is done and as you can see on this model so far it does look fairly well done and applied as well but you can also see the wheels and the detail on the wheels is very nice as well you can see that p0 on the tires and the pirelli very very clearly they do spin fairly well but there is a little bit of plate in the axles and there is a brake disc and caliper behind them but again not really cool coming up on camera which i'm not too sure why but you can also see the big v10 engine in the back of the car which looks absolutely incredible 
with the Ferrari logos and obviously the Ferrari red engine cover as well. You can also see there is a bit of a carbon effect by the side of the engine bay as well, which again is just very nicely done. And again, the Ferrari logo, also the LB performance on the window banner, very nicely placed, sounds all the decals. Now, the spoiler is also a carbon effect and so are the canards as well. Again, very, very nicely done. And you can also see on the rear of the model, the tail lights, really nicely proportioned with that, re that really nice triple exit exhaust. And that's in the titanium blue as well. But overall, this model is just really, really well done. As you can see, the color and the paint really stands out, that deep blue. Unfortunately, it doesn't really come up on the camera and the light doesn't really pick it up. But in person, the color is absolutely spectacular and it really, really suits the model. Now, there are some things that do feel a little bit cheap on this model. Like I mentioned, the plate in the axles does make the wheels rattle around, which I'm not too impressed by. But again, it does help in the fact that they do roll. But personally, that's not really for me. But again, overall, the detail is really, really good on this model. You can see that diffuser as well. The carbon spoiler with the Liberty Walk decals. Obviously, the mirror also having that mirror decal and the Ferrari pony as well with the Ferrari badges front and rear and also on these side panels. But that now brings us on to the third and final model of the video, which is this RWB 930. And as you can see, it comes in the EA Sports Need for Speed livery. Obviously, it's coming in the standard sleeve packaging, just like the first model with the grey and also with the RWB 930 on the rear. Now, the actual model itself is quite iconic now it was built for the need for speed game by need for speed themselves and they also let the customizers or the people who play the game also pick customization for this car that's within the game which is quite cool so there is a bit of the community in this car or model which i do find quite interesting and quite cool as well but the actual model itself has been replicated really really well as you can see the first detail that I will notice or that I did notice was the Japanese plate on the front. Obviously, really, really nicely detailed and same goes for the decals as well. Very, very nicely applied in this nice gold finish. You can also see the wheels do spin fairly well on the back, but not as such on the front. But obviously, the standout is that exhaust piece, which really stands out on the model. Now, I did think it'll be really delicate, but it's actually quite sturdy. Now, that doesn't mean you can put some pressure on it as it probably will break but it doesn't feel as delicate as i did think it would be for such a free part that's not really connected to much but overall this model is just really really well done you can see them canards on the side really nicely proportioned and really nicely applied don't feel like they're going to break at all and obviously like i say the decals again really really nicely applied the gold finish is really really cool with them bronzy colored wheels obviously the smaller decals as well really easy to read obviously the paint application absolutely phenomenal detail in the headlights again really nicely done i did i did think they could be a little bit smaller as they do poke out quite a lot but that's probably just my personal preference the rear tail light again really nicely done obviously not having the rear bumper but you can also see the tires on the wheels having some tread which is a really nice detail for pictures and obviously just adding to the level of detail but overall this model is just really really well done and i'm really really impressed with it you can just see overall this model is really really well made the plate on the front doesn't feel like it's going to break at all obviously like i say the decals are really nicely applied really easy to read as well and the paint application in general is just really really well done well, as mentioned earlier in the video, all of these models look absolutely incredible in the diorama. And here you get to see all of them side by side to see proportionally how well they've done. Obviously, you can see compared to other figures and other brands, they look absolutely excellent and compared to each other as well. They also look very, very well done. You can see the detail, obviously, like I say, the front plates, the carbon, the colour on the Gulf just look absolutely excellent. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. But... With that being said, I am going to start to wrap the video up here guys, thank you so much for watching, if you have enjoyed make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you are new, but with that being said thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.